Yes, my name Diego. When we're speaking about love and action and activism, for example, there's a group that's called ELF, Animal Liberation Front, and it's like it's a group of young people. They go anonymous, and they like they go for for example an experimental laboratory, and they go inside and they destroy everything. Whatever is inside, computers, everything, and they stay completely anonymous for like making damage, so the laboratory can close. And they have been closing actually a lot of laboratories, making a DVD out of it also. But in these actions, there's no love in, involved in this, or? Listen, you have to see one of the documentaries. There's a very serious thing around. A very serious thing which we all have to understand. And it's better, it's thank you for asking the question. The situation is that violence and revolt and protest, they are the key to the business. <coughs> they want to make us angry. They want us to do this. This favors their business. And if you want to open a violent fight, they will supply you the arms for free. All the revolutions, why do all the revolutionaries in the world have so many weapons? Because they get them for free or on loan. Why do they get them for free? Because the weapon industry and all these people, they need conflict. If there is no conflict, they cannot sell the arms to those who get the tax money. So if you attack the government, the government is so happy. Ooh, ooh. Come on. 50 billions of arms being bought. From whom? Well, from, the, from one of the senator's business friends. Who is, he's a shareholder of the company. So there's nothing worse than violent action. Like when we fight. Mm -hmm. Like when we fight, the community. Yes, that is very much uh, so, but the, it's just that you have to understand the idea. For them, they're looking for the conflict. They're looking for that. That what gives strength to them. Because they don't care. They don't, yes, they don't care how many people will die in all this. No? It's, it is for them, it's simply business. You know? So, therefore, these pe people who do these things like ELF, they're actually creating a great discredit. Of course, I'm an animal defender myself. I love it to stop misery of animals. I love it, I think it's great, but not this way because it discredits our journey of love and awareness. And plus, <coughs> What good do they do by destroying a laboratory? All these machines going to be bought again and another laboratory is going to be made somewhere else. It's not as bad as getting weapons and starting a big killing spree, but it's still, they don't accomplish anything. As long as people want to tor torture <coughs> animals, they'll torture them, here or there, everywhere. And let's say you take a chicken, like there, there's some, uh, something happened in Chile. Oh, unbelievable. There was one pig farm in Chile which had one million pigs. And they were creating such a stain, such a smell, that the local village went crazy and the water contained So finally, but it was like by some high government, finally, the people from the village decided, actually the bodies went there. <laughs> the bodies went there and also said, yeah, we cannot tolerate this. Anyhow, they blocked the road, gave trouble to the company, the company got afraid, and they abandoned one million pigs. What, did, what happens when one million pigs get abandoned? Well, they starve. 
Can you imagine how what the machinery you need to feed one million pigs? So the, whenever you free animals like this and you just put them out in nowhere, they just die as well. You cannot protect them. You have no finances, no, no, no capacity of, of protecting them. So in a way you could understand that's karma. It's also karma to be a pig in a pig factory. There's some karma to that. But it's our karma not to go against it with love. So certain things you may not be able to change for you. So therefore I think it's not productive. They're counterproductive, those uh, violent elements. Any violent element is out. It's just love and consciousness, love and consciousness.